Hello everyone, it's me Joshua and um, I'm here to do my first ever movie versus movie thing that I was been promising you guys. So, I wanted to pick two different, I wanted to pick and this is a movie based on a novel from a trilogy of novels but written by Steve Larson. Yep, but it's the first book. So it is The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Both the Swedish version and the 2011 American version. We're going to break this down piece by piece. And let's um break this down. So the Swedish film is directed by Niels Arden Oplev and was written is written by Nikolaj Arcel and Rasmus Hasterberg. And the language is in Swed Swedish, of course. But there is a way to watch the original trilogy, all three films in English. But I won't I won't tell you. You gotta figure it out yourself. But I thought the director of the this uh, this first film in the Swedish trilogy, he did a good job. It sure you could say that you, it's hard to understand what they're saying. But if you have English subtitles or if you get, are able to find a version of this movie in English like me, you it'll, it'll look clear it up. Now, as for the 2011 film, it is directed by David Fincher, and I thought David Fincher just did a complete 180, he went all out with this movie, he did his little dark trademark that he's, and the title sequence was pretty awesome. So, when it comes to directors in terms of this movie, is going to David Fincher. Now, let's break into the two main characters. Mikhail Blankvist is played in the Swedish version by Mikhail, Michael Nivkist. So, he's and he has been in Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol and John Wick, which I have now seen. <clears throat> and I think he he's good as as Mikel. I but he does struggle a little bit in most of his scenes. But I think he was still good as Mikel. But the American version we have James Bond himself, Mr. Daniel Craig. Everybody, Mr. Daniel Craig, and. I think Daniel Craig is better than Nick Nickvis because he's he's very funny and both versions whichever version of Mikael he is a womanizer and he's very he is very and he is a financial reporter and so he his performance Daniel Craig's performance was great but they're two entirely different performances. But to me, the one that stands out is Daniel Craig. Well, let's get to who we really about to talk about. Lisbeth Salander. In the original Swedish films, she's played by Numi Rapace. And I've seen Numi Rapace in Prometheus and Sherlock Holmes' A Game of Shadows. So, it was cool seeing her in those other two movies. And I can't wait to 
see her in Alien Covenant next year. Uh, so, so I thought she did a great job. She was great as Elizabeth. I thought she was great. She did everything to do take this the part and accept it. She kickboxing and all that stuff. That is awesome. That's wonderful. And I give her credit because she is great as the character. She's really great as a character. So that's a plus. Um now as far as American version goes, you got Rooney Mara. Yes. Rooney Mara, a two time Oscar nominee for Dragon Tattoo and the two thousand fifteen movie Carol plays Elizabeth. And I think Rooney Mara is, she, yeah, you could say she's a little scary as the part, but she didn't bother me because it's makeup, and she had to do, she and she did a lot to get this role, a heck of a lot. She did, um, she dyed her hair black, she cut it into various jack parts. She went through multiple changes, and, and she just, she just, she, I like her, her character, I like her story, this is, she's a girl that has been through, through severe emotional and, and physical abuse. And if you've seen one of these versions, you know which scene I'm talking about. I won't give it away. But she is great. She she is the definitive Elizabeth Salander. And she, and she was one of the reasons, as well as Daniel Craig, is why why I kept setting through the mo this movie. As far as other characters go. In the original Swedish version, you got Sivan Bertel Tabe, it's Van Henrik Vanger, um, every everyone else in the original trilogy is great. They all do good with what they have, but as far as the American version, you have Stellan Skarsgård, Robin Wright, Jorn Van Wagenigen, Jolie Richardson, and the, I love the cast here, then they is, oh, and Joel Kinnelman and Elodie Young, Electra and Rick Flagg themselves are in, this, in the American version. So that's a, a positive. I think the cast in the original in the American trilogy is better than the Swedish cast. Now let's talk about let's talk about the relationship between Mikael and Elizabeth. In the Swedish film, it's is a little bit it's very quick that they fall for each other while doing the investigation. But in the American version, I, it takes its time because we get to know both of these characters before we actually see them team up to stop to on, to work on the crime case together. That is cool. I like that, and I think that was cool. So yeah, and um, I think their love story was really great, and so yeah. I will give him that. <laughs> um, now, I would like to talk about the music. In the Swedish film, it is, yeah, of course, of course, the music is composed by Jacob Groff, and I like his music, but it's kind of generic. But in the American version, it is... Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross, and their, their score is awesome. The song that they play at the beginning, Immigrant Song, the cover of it by themselves and Karen O is great. And the cover for Brian Ferry's Is Your Love Strong Enough is also very great. I love this song, but it does make you want to tear up. 
Now, let's, in the end, be, before I announce the winner, let's talk about the endings of both of these, mo these movies, of these versions. In the end of this movie, this, it, so it's, um, um, Salander visits Blancovitz in prison and gives him new information on the Winterstrom case. After his release, he publishes a new story on Winterstrom in Millennium, which ruins him and makes the magazine a natural sensation. The film then ends with Salander dressed very smartly as she exits her car and she walks amongst a sunny beach promenade. This version ends with him um, with different. Blancus gives the information to Henry Gabbard, who's worthless. Salander hacks it to his computer, and presents Blancus with evidence of Winnesher crimes. Blancovitz publishes the article that ruins him, who flees the country, and Salander has to the bank accounts and transfers two billion dollars to various accounts. And he, Winnerstrom is found murderer, and Salander reveals to a former guardian that she is in love with Mikkel. So on her way to give Mikkel a Christmas present, Salander sees him with Erica Berger, and she d gets, gets rid of the gift and then rides away. So I think this ending in the American version is much more sad, much more tragic. So, in the end... Yep, I'm gonna give the win to the 2011 version because I do like the original Swedish film, but this movie is much more faithful to the book. And and Sony MGM, I'm still waiting on those other two. I'm still waiting. We all are. So come on. So, that was my first ever movie versus movie comparison. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below which one do you think is better and which one do you think is more faithful to the book. The original films in Swedish or the American version.